Do you know anyone that has a cough that isn't going away? Or they mention to you that they have blood in their phlegm? So these could be warning symptoms of lung cancer. It's important for you to watch this video because you could potentially save a life. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Leong. I'm a clinical oncologist and I'm passionate about raising awareness in lung cancer. So I often speak to my patient about local symptoms and constitutional symptoms. So the local symptoms that one should be aware of are persistent cough that isn't going away after several weeks or months. And despite having a short course of antibiotics, the cough is still there, then please seek early medical attention. Apart from cough, if you start noticing that you have increasing shortness of breath, or easy fatigue when you do short activities such as daily household chores, going for your short walks, then again, this could be a warning sign. Besides these two common symptoms, patients may also present with something a little bit unusual such as hoarseness of voice. Or if you notice there is streaky blood in your phlegm, please do not ignore these symptoms and seek early medical attention. Apart from the local symptoms that I have mentioned, I would like to bring your attention to what is known as the constitutional symptoms. These symptoms are often overlooked because it can mimic various other things, but it's important for you to take note if you have an unexplained weight loss in recent time, or you have a significant loss of appetite, or easy fatigue that you cannot attribute to other causes. So please do not ignore these symptoms and seek early medical help. For an individual who already has some signs or symptoms, such as a chronic cough that isn't going away, a loaded CT scan is no longer suitable for them, and hence they are recommended to go for a high-dose CT scan, which is a scan that requires the patient to have contrast inserted and a higher radiation dose delivered to have a better clarity of the lung image. So for lung cancer, the recommended screening test as of the moment is known as the low-dose CT scan of the lung. So what is the difference between a low-dose CT scan and a high-dose CT scan? In a low-dose CT scan, you do not insert any contrast into the patient and the radiation dose that is delivered during the scan to the patient is much lower. So a low-dose CT scan is when a patient is put comfortably on a couch and they undergo a CT scanner and usually this procedure takes less than half an hour. The report will usually be out in a day and your doctor will take you through the findings. So why is screening test so important? Why do you want to detect cancer at an early stage? It is because the earlier the stage the cancer is detected, then the lower tumour burden there is and the better survival outcome you have for the patient. So essentially, you're looking to cure the patient and not just to control the symptoms in the patient. So, who are the high-risk individuals that are recommended to go for screening tests for lung cancer? This will be individuals aged between 50 to 80 years old and who have a 20 packs year history of smoking. So how do you get this information? Check out our formula here for easy reference. Essentially, if an individual smokes one pack of cigarette a day for 20 years, you take one pack a day multiplied by 20 years and that's how you get 20 packs year history of smoking. I'm Dr. Jennifer Leong. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, do share it.